right, I'm going to be roasting up all this delicata squash just in preparation for the next couple days or so. Um, and I'm just spritzing it a little bit with this roasted garlic oil. It comes in a spritzer bottle, and so I just used it a little bit. And so I'm going to be counting a point for the squash when Good I eat Good morning! It. it is December 29th, and we're nearing the end of December now, finally. Um, this beautiful month, it's been so exciting. It's time to move on. So, um, just another day or two, and then we will be ready for New Year's. Um, not quite sure what we're doing today. It's kind of like the last day of vacation for us, too. So, um, well, we get back to work on homeschool on Tuesday, so... We've still got a few more days. All right, so we'll see Breakfast. in a little bit. I just kind of wanted some, I was in a Whole Foods mood and I just wanted these flavors. I'm having some kale. I've got like four long leaves of kale in here and I've sauteed them with just a dab of the garlic um, olive oil. Um, so I'm gonna count this as one point. I've also got one apple cut up and about a cup of delicata squash in there. The delicata squash was roasted. Um, I also have about maybe an, a quarter cup of onion. I love onion, and so um, I sauteed that with the greens. Okay, and that is really good, believe it or not. I've just put a dash of paprika in there. It's really super good. I just put maybe a, not even a, a real quick spritz of salt. Um, and I'm thinking of adding these butter beans into that and just make it a real complete meal. Uh, it's really good just like this, but I think I'm going to add the beans in um, just so I have it complete. And um, I'm going to count it all as one plate. That's my breakfast. All right. I just want to show you. This is one of the reasons why I get exhausted <laughs> sometimes. These little guys, they just never stop. They never, never stop. Never. <laughs> I get... Such a kick out of watching them, they don't know that I'm watching them, but all of a sudden, you know, Curly Larry and Moe start busting out in a riot, and that's not any fun, but but watching them <laughs> up until that point can be such a funny thing. Where are you going? Come back here. I'm going to be heading out the door here. I don't know when we're going to be home again, so um, I am taking some snacks. I'm going to take some apples for the boys to snack on maybe a fig bar, um, and then for me, I've got an orange, in case I run into some trouble. I've got some more delicata squash in here. It's still kind of warm. Um, I'm gonna be taking that to snack on. I've got one tablespoon of almond butter, because two tablespoons is five points. I just want one, and that's gonna be three points for the almond butter here. And I have two of these crackers. I love these crackers, because you can have two for one point. Um, so that's really good. And so I've got two to dip in here. If I were to put this in here, one thing I've noticed is if I put anything in here, then store it, these get kind of soggy, and I like them nice and crispy. So those are gonna be my snacks. Um, all this comes out to one, two, three, four points. And I wanted to talk to you about this because I had put in one point into my kale breakfast this morning, um, but when I look at the back of this, I mean, what's funny is that it's all zeros here for one spray. One serving size is like zero, zero, zero. When I put in the tracker, I went up to four sprays and it was still coming out as zero. So, I mean, I think that's awesome. I could actually, based on that, go with the zero for my breakfast. But I think I'm going to look into this some more because it's um, now it's a canola oil, olive oil blend. Uh, because when something's flavored, they seem to be able to, they always mix it with a canola oil, which I don't usually use canola, but I really like this spray. So, I don't know, I'm thinking I should probably just go with, I think I'll go up to three point three sprays before I start counting it for one point. And I think that seems fair. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you if you have any thoughts.
wanted to take a walk on the trail over here. Another day they want to climb that mountain. It's a little bit, it's a little ambitious for them right now. I've been up there. It takes a lot. All right, just a little trek up the hill. Halfway, maybe. Hey, everybody. All right, it is Friday evening, and we're heading out, um, you know, getting through the holidays. And things are starting to wind down. Hubby and I, guess where we're going? We're going to the Monday. I know it. So I'm very excited. The reason why I'm excited is because I'm very hungry. And I have 19 points left, people. At the end of this day, I had like four points. I'm hungry and I have 19 points to spend. So I am really, really jazzed about that. I feel like I have a pocket full of points. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was, I put on this um, little sparkly sweater and then under that I had a sparkly top and I was thinking, that's probably like too much sparkle, right? And my husband said, no, 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 it looks good. And I'm thinking, um, Okay, it's New Year's weekend in Vegas. Can one have too much sparkle on this weekend? I don't think so. Nobody's gonna notice. So it's gonna be fun. Anyway, I'll let you know what I have. I, I wanna eat clean, I wanna make good choices and stuff, but I'm really hungry and I'm really excited too. So, um, so let's see what happens. Okay, I had to tell you this. <laughs> My husband just said he was going to eat dirty and make poor choices. <laughs> That's what he's looking forward to. Somebody stop him. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> stop. All right, we're home. Guess what I forgot to do? <laughs> I got a lot of steps. Um, I was pretty active today, but I did not run my mile, so I'm going to do that on the treadmill right now. Okay, it's the end of the night. I just got done with my run and it was really hard because my stomach was full, <laughs> but I got it done. It was important. Um, and the buffet was really good. Uh, we really had a good time there. I actually feel like I ate a little more than I have in the past. And I also feel like I was a little more unrestrained than I was in the past. I was willing to take chances with other things. But um, the thing is, is that like I got the stromboli this time and I've avoided that purposely on other times just because of the fat and stuff and I didn't want the extra, you know, calories of it. But it wasn't very good. It was burned on the bottom. So I took like two bites, like one and a half bites because it was very, it wasn't very good. And so then I just left it. Um, and so there were things that I did have and there were things that I just took like one bite out of and stuff. So I took a picture of it and I made note, mental note of everything that was good and that I had. Um, so I'm going to put it in the tracker see where I'm at and then um, yeah it just uh, we got full really fast and um, so we'll see where I'm at I'll put that up on the screen I hope I didn't go over um, but I had 19 points you know and I could still fudge within five points still get my blue dot so that's actually a lot to work with that's like almost like look like a whole day's worth of points you know so and I know I I know I didn't eat that much but you never know. You can always, you know, I'm always surprised when I put everything in. Yeah. So sometimes I go over and sometimes I don't. Anyway, um, it's important to track it though. I started filling out my planners for the coming year. And one thing I wanted to talk to hubby about was the fact that now when we go out on dates, we tend to go, when we go out to eat, we mostly tend to go out to the buffet because he can do what he wants, I can do what I want, and then we just have a good time. Um, but I'm wondering if we want to really try this year because last year we said we were going to do it and we didn't do it um and it's hard living in vegas not to try to visit a buffet um but to try to go like to like a regular restaurant you know what i mean where you just get like one thing and and honestly i think sometimes sometimes i even eat less at the buffet than i would at a re regular restaurant um so i don't know i don't know if that's a good idea what do you think honey He's on the couch. She doesn't want me to show him because he's comfortable. 
Do you want to try to go to someplace else this yeah. year? Maybe twice a month, and then the other two times if we go out, let's just say we go out four times a month, um, which is a lot, I know, so we might want to pull back on some of that too. But do you want to try to hit up some other restaurants? Sounds groovy. That's what he says now, but it, it's, I can already hear his tone. It's not going to happen. So he's not in it at all. So uh, help me. What do I do? I got to get this guy on board. You know how it's always happened in the past. Um, if, if, if I want my husband to like get on board with healthy eating and stuff like that, I just got to leave him alone. I just leave him alone. I do my thing, and once I start becoming really successful and he sees me being very diligent about it, he just comes on board and he does it anyway. So that's how it works. That's how it's always worked. So um, anyway, <laughs> it's a lovely life, isn't it? This is going nowhere. This is going nowhere? <laughs> All right, I've offended my husband. All right, I better go so I can maybe ask him for some forgiveness. I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.